The Walsh Group is a national leader in building green. At Walsh, we understand that environmentally based building design and construction result in improved resource efficiency, reduced waste, and a decreased carbon footprint. Our commitment to green building today is harmonious with our historic commitment to quality construction. We have served as design builder and general contractor on numerous projects that meet LEED certification criteria by incorporating environmentally sustainable alternatives, energy efficiency, durability, and overall building performance. Our innovative approach to sustainable and environmentally conscious construction has earned Walsh recognition as one of America's greenest contractors by Engineering News Record, the leading publication in our industry. The Walsh Group provides our employees with the tools and knowledge they need to be at the forefront with the latest innovations and changes in green technologies and processes. We develop and implement courses that enable our staff to gain education and expertise in green building practices, and we encourage them to attend lectures and workshops by preeminent organizations such as the United States Green Building Council. With over 150 LEED accredited professionals on staff, we are able to draw on our depth of experience in every step of the design and construction process to enable our clients to reach their desired LEED certification. Our customers are becoming much more sophisticated about this, this new discipline within the design and the design build industry. And we embrace that. So when we purchased a nearby abandoned 90-year-old building in order to expand our company's headquarters in Chicago, we quickly decided to thoroughly renovate the structure into an environmentally sustainable building. As green engineering has developed over the last 15 or 20 years, we realized that building buildings which were sustainable and used products and materials from their community was good for the company and good for our people and good for America. Green buildings use resources more efficiently and inexpensively than conventional buildings which are simply built to code. Higher initial costs can be effectively mitigated by the savings gained over time due to lower than industry standard operational costs. The way that uh, the energy savings, the energy efficiency was approached, it was done in a very sensible way where the, the things we did, and there's a whole list of them, it's not one big thing, it's a lot of little things, and they are done with an eye towards payback. But then there's a soft side of, uh, of efficiency, you know, less attrition, you know, people uh, feeling good about working there and the environment uh, fostering longevity of employees and things like that. So. There are some that we can quantify, and, and we, we quantified them to the extent that made them sensible, but then there are others that are extra benefits that you can't. But when you mound it all up, I think it, it really is um, it's very forward thinking. What does it actually mean to build green? Well, in our case, our renovated headquarters expansion building thoroughly integrates numerous green processes and technologies in its design, construction, and functionality. Just about everything in this building makes this building green. We've got you know, recycled content on significant portions of drywall, ceiling tiles. We've got controls, settings for lighting. We've got a pretty intense mechanical system that interacts with the environment around us and uses the least amount of energy possible to, to heat and cool the building. We've got a solar duct system that let heat heat beat down on it and it passes across the duct to, to do heating in the winter time. Our cooling is very efficient. We have uh, thermostats and sensors all over the building to detect the temperature and adjust locally at your environment to change it to a, you know, a comfortable setting as opposed to a, a building that's just one big system that's always blowing in hot and cold air. The site was chosen for a host of reasons including environmental. Located across the street from our main headquarters building, it eliminates the need for the use of cars to reach an otherwise satellite office. And it is located near public transportation to encourage daily employee commutes by bus and rail. Over the last 10 or 15 years, we've had rental space throughout this West Loop neighborhood that is now consolidated in this building. And I know from the feeling of the people in the building now who were spread out all through this neighborhood, there's an enormous sense of pride and a tremendous internal efficiency that they will gain by being together as a team. Atrium did two things. It let light in, and we talked about the uh, light and air and that those benefits, but it also brought people together. 
and they would see what other people would work on and, and to really get a sense of teamwork and, and community within the organization. They talked about that and then it manifests itself in the atrium. Over my shoulder is one of our original bulldozers from the 1950s. When I first drove this bulldozer, I was 12 years old. When we designed this new building and we thought of the theme of sustainability, we immediately thought of one of our original pieces of equipment as a central feature for this atrium. I thought that was the greatest thing because it not only connected people to each other given the environment, but connected them to the past of the company. By deciding to renovate an existing structure rather than building an entirely new one, we were able to recycle an existing building, eliminating much of the need for the environmentally costly materials needed for new construction. Over 75% of the original structure remains in place and we expanded the building one floor vertically, enabling us to significantly increase the available office space while not expanding the building's footprint. Recycling construction waste was a top priority on this project. 95% of the waste generated through the renovation process was recycled and thus diverted away from a landfill. We reclad the front of the building with new brick and, and by doing that made it a very, uh, very highly insulated wall. But we reused that brick on the interior so that the material was never carted off the site and it was reused in place. And that's, that's, a, you know, that's a very green thing to do, but we used it as an accent throughout the interior of the building. To meet our ambitious environmental goals, many of the materials used in the building are comprised of sustainable or recycled materials, as well as non-toxic and low-emitting paints, adhesives, and carpets. Additionally, 50% of all wood used on the renovation met the Forest Stewardship Council's stringent environmental requirements. To reduce the harmful environmental impact of long-distance shipping, local suppliers and vendors were utilized and materials used on the renovation were specified to meet ambitious regional goals that they be harvested, manufactured and fabricated within 500 miles of the project. It is not only the materials and processes used in the construction that makes a building green, but also the life of the building once it is built and occupied. The green roof, which has a number of environmental benefits, was designed by a landscape architect to incorporate adaptive native and prairie plantings that need less water to be maintained. What we've put on this building is a green roof that covers 70% of the roof uh, with grown vegetation that is local and adapted to our environment. Solar ducts were installed throughout the roof in order to preheat air before it enters the heating system, enabling us to realize a significant reduction in energy consumption. Special light sensors throughout the building constantly monitor levels of natural light in each room and automatically adjust the amount of indoor lighting required to achieve optimal light levels. Light levels are controlled in the evening as well in order to minimize light pollution at night. Light from our building does not spill beyond our property line, respecting the needs of our neighbors. Efficient and responsible use of water is achieved through a plumbing system which utilizes a rainwater recovery process that collects rain in a stormwater detention tank and uses it to irrigate the building's green roof, watering the landscaping around the building, and supplying some of the water for the building's sanitary toilet system. We're collecting the rainwater from the roof. We're taking that rainwater and underneath the, the ramps in the parking garage, a wasted space that we couldn't use for anything. Uh, anyhow, you couldn't park a car because it's a ramp. We made a tank under there. There's a big storage tank underneath the ramp. We take the rainwater off of our roof and we put it in the tank. We filter it and we use that water to flush the toilets and the urinals and also water the plants on the roof. Environmental considerations play a role in all areas of the building, including the indoor parking garage. A large number of prime parking spaces are reserved for hybrid and other low emission fuel efficient vehicles. The Walsh Group has built an industry-wide reputation for innovation, producing superior solutions through a strong commitment to continuous learning, leading-edge technology, safety, and quality. Yes, I'm going to be very proud uh, of this uh, LEED building because of my knowledge of LEED. If Walsh didn't train me uh, in LEED and building green, then I don't know that I would care to care about it, you know? Uh, it's, it's knowledge of building green, it's knowledge of lead, and then knowing that you've attained that. There is nothing more satisfying than get to, get to be a part of a team and build a building that minimizes the impact on the environment instead of you know, taking a new footprint that, that was otherwise undisturbed and, and 
put a new building on. We're, we're actually using something that was here. We took a building that was built in 1918. It was old, it was decrepit, and we're beautifying it. And to be a part of a team that does this all over the country is amazing. Our corporate headquarters expansion reflects the Walsh Group's continuing commitment to advancing green technology to assist and benefit our clients as partners in building environmentally responsible facilities. And I think for the Walsh organization, who has done some very energy efficient buildings, we've worked on a number of LEED certified buildings with them, but to show that this isn't just for other people, but that they are doing it for themselves, that's, that shows a real commitment to uh, you know, putting your money where your mouth is. With the addition of this new building on our Chicago campus, the Walsh Group has now invested over $75 million in the Chicagoland community. We will continue to incorporate new innovative solutions that support sustainable construction and lead our industry in socially responsible, economically viable best practices. Green engineering is all about tomorrow. It's about our children and their environment, about making America and the world a better place.